Hey friends, it's Susan here from LegsLikeMine.com coming to you late on a Sunday night. I have been working today a lot on lipedema stuff and I am doing my first round of social media posts with information coming in from our friends at the Lipedema Education Group. This group of folks is a wonderful group of uh, medical professionals, therapists, researchers, and even a couple of patients who are getting together to vet some FAQs and make sure that information about treatment and diagnosis and self-care of lipedema, lymphedema and Durkheim's disease are actually like the right information. So vetted information is coming out. So the first thing that we wanna to talk to you today about is um, fat freezing. You might also know of it as cool sculpting and I have to look up because I have to say this one, cryolipolysis, right? Um, but cool sculpting is the registered trademark name that a lot of you all hear. Um, the question is, is it good for lipedema? Is it the right treatment for lipedema? And the answer really is there's not enough research on it. Um, what it does is the process um, uses cold temperatures to shrink and reduce the amount of certain kinds of fat cells in your body. And unfortunately, um, the tissue that is created from lipedema type tissue and fat disorders tissue is not the right kind of tissue that is intended for the use with cool sculpting or um, that, that procedure, that fat freezing procedure. The doctors who have patients in the lipedema education group have been reporting on what their patients who did try the process of fat freezing before they came for other kinds of treatment reported that their patients weren't pleased with the results too. So um, this would definitely be something where the vetted answer is basically there's not enough research on it. But what we do know is that specialized kinds of liposuction are a good and recognized and researched treatment. There is a published standard of care for lipedema in the United States that's available on PubMed, and I'll link to it in the comments below. But if you have more questions that we can answer through the Lipedema Education Group, let us know. They're working and vetting questions hot and heavy as, as I get them, and I'm also sharing them on legslikemine.com, Twitter, Instagram, and you are welcome to share that information. And if you have other ideas about the vetting of questions, holler, and we'll see if we can get them to you. Thanks again for your support, and to all the folks who are taking their time to volunteer to um, get us vetted answers at the Lipedema Education Group, thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.